Yo, what is going on, guys? Jordy back with another T3 video, and welcome to Super Season 4. We are finally here. The update went uh, live last night, technically. They did maintenance. It went live. You could play the new BR version of the game or the Royale Arena version. Um, and so all that's already going on, but the new season just launched maybe like an hour ago. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the new season pass hero all the way to level 10, pretty much on day one. Uh, that's what we're going to be doing here with Tigris, the new hero that came with Super Season 4. Uh, so we're going to be checking him out as well and looking at his uh, Season Pass skin, as well as all of the stuff that kind of is coming with the season. There's a couple of events we're going to go through and whatnot. So let's jump into it. Let's get the Season Pass. I'll kind of show you guys how I do it every season, and I've made videos like this in the past, so definitely go check those out. Uh, but yeah, we're basically going to come over here into the Season Pass. Here it is. And um, I... Since I am an arena creator, we get gems for our like content. Um, so I will be able to do this, but this does not mean that you guys have to do this. I say this every time. Uh, I have the gems to buy my way all the way to the final level of the season pass. I have the extra gems to do it, but you guys don't have to do that. Uh, this is just how I do it every season. So I can showcase the new skins and all that good stuff. Uh, so we're just going to bounce our way all the way to... 60 there we go 70 which is 1900 uh t gems for me i have like 13,000, so not that big of a deal but we are going to be able to showcase the new ko fizz the new character of course the new skin and i'll probably rock some of the other hollow posters and whatnot uh i'll equip all that off camera but let's do it let's buy the pass and this part is normally the fun part where you can kind of just watch all the levels go up and up and up and up um, and we will be getting Tigris uh, right there. Boom, looking cool. He is actually pretty awesome. Um, I played around with him a little bit in the like test version of the game that we got access to. Um, but he is he's pretty cool. He's definitely and a lot of us agreed with uh, a lot of like the arena creators were talking and we all kind of agreed. He's kind of like what Ono should have been in a way, in a way. Um, but that's it, man. There's the entire season pass. We're good to go. Let's scroll back over here to 30 ahead and unlock my boy tigris there he is he is super super cool a lot of fun if you guys are more of a vanguard player he feels really good um for at least from what i've tested we're gonna be playing him uh today in a, an actual match and whatnot but he does seem to be kind of pretty awesome uh works well with a lot of other heroes and whatnot so i'm gonna collect what i need off of the actual season pass um and maybe chime in here and there if there's something noteworthy um but let me go collect all of that real quick and i'll be right back also here's the new labulous skin gentleman burglar looking pretty cool but uh yeah let me collect all this stuff and i'll show you if anything cool pops up here's something to kind of take note of this is what the season passes ko fizz looks like uh earth shaking slam sounds pretty cool uh here is the physical bottle itself got tigris on it which is pretty cool and it says lance a lot which i like as well uh, but yeah, that's kind of what it looks like over there in the preview. Um, but we're pretty much done here uh, collecting all the things. Let's just go ahead and grab this. What is this sticker? Cool. And uh, we'll finally grab the Tiger Skin Cyber Centurion. Looking pretty cool. It's it's kind of like a recolor, but also makes him look very different. So I'm kind of cool with it. Um, and then those are just, you know, if you're wondering, uh, this is what you get out of the Grand Skin Bundle at the end of the Season Pass. Um, you will be able to obtain one of these skins. We've had these bundles given to us in previous seasons and whatnot. Um, so you might be familiar with this, but basically when you open this, it has some exclusive skins in here. And if you own all of them, like I do, uh, then you can just get the newest one, which comes out this, se uh, you know, every season they've been doing that for the past couple of seasons. Um, but if you did have all of them, you can also get skin vouchers. If you wanted to get skins out of the shop but uh i'd need this one because i don't have it it's one of those more exclusive recolors that happens on season passes so they're gonna get that for for gatlin there and this one is pretty cool actually like the red is very cool it's very basic to her normal skin but it is still pretty cool um we're most likely going to have enough to get him to level 10 uh so let's just go jump over here and push him all the way to level 10 here he is and we got his new skin as well like I said, it is pretty much just a recolor, um, but it looks cool. Like I'm, I'm kind of okay with the recolor because it definitely is pretty dope looking. I like the mohawk rather than this kind of just looks like that's his hair. 
this is actually like distinctively different which makes him look really cool and like menacing so let's go ahead and level him up i have all of the uh upgrade materials that i'll ever need i have twenty five thousand of the uh the hero shards that's crazy let's go ahead and push him all the way to nine and then let's go ahead and unlock his passive his passive says shield hits on opponents charge the guardian's defense um i'm not really sure exactly what that means i haven't played with him that much uh so we can come in here and kind of check all this out uh so we got of course the the shield toss 700 damage direct and has a little bit of aoe damage it also ricochets and like explodes and stuff it's pretty cool um his first ability he basically brings up a shield uh which has a 15 second i believe cooldown um and 10 second i believe at least 10 seconds where you can actually have it up but it doesn't have health it's just kind of like a shield so it's pretty cool like portable very similar to jabali but like it's infinite health it you'll see when we start playing with him um he also has a dash which is pretty cool and slam people with your shield um and then his ultimate is it throws a mighty shield that automatically seeks out and stuns opponents so we're finally getting another stun aspect which is cool um the other one being judix of course and then the passive of course we already read that so looking really cool he's a cool dude let's go ahead and select him in the main screen he looks so cool very different than all of the other heroes all the other heroes are kind of more cartoony and more like animated he's like a straight up tiger bro like looking super dope i think he's really cool i'm actually really excited because i normally like playing tanks um we got some customizations down here that we unlocked on the season pass these guys they were hollow posters they both were okay well there's those if you guys wanted to see what those look like pretty cool pretty funny um and then here is the frames for the season pass um let me see if i can find them uh so we got this one uh it's pretty cool and then the season four super season four um like themed one as well i personally like what i have equipped but yeah pretty cool and then of course here it is again the uh ko is pretty cool as well not my favorite i prefer the one i have equipped but uh still pretty dope pretty dope nonetheless um but that's him man that's tigress that's how i do it um i pretty much just buy the season pass fully max it out and then get the hero unlock all the stuff i need to unlock and then kind of go from there level them all the way up to 10 and whatnot and all that stuff so he's good to go level 10 day one pretty cool and then now we can kind of come over and look at some of the actual like uh like seasonal events um so this is going to be pretty much your standard ones at the beginning of the season and as the season progresses we'll be able to get more and more uh kind of different things going uh this is all pretty standard with the season um and this however the doll party this is like a new event um it's kind of cool actually i didn't realize what i was doing and i wasn't recording at the time i was just kind of clicking through and looking at all the new stuff um but basically when you do certain things in the royale arena mode you'll get these little like targets or attempts and then you can use those attempts to actually play the game uh which is really cool it basically pulls up this like gallery and uh you have a gun and you basically have to shoot all of these targets and like knock them down similar to like like a carnival game um and the more you knock down the more like of these little like fire tokens i guess you get and then from there you can you know the more you get the more you obtain the more you can actually go through this and unlock some pretty cool stuff um and, and including like a frame which is pretty cool you can get yourself another skin you know just all different resources in the game and then i'm not exactly sure what this is but it's an airdrop so this is the new thing so whenever we get this we'll get a new thing so that's pretty cool too uh but yeah just your normal typical all you know your seasonal events and all that stuff so let me go um jump into some games we'll check out mr tigris tigris whatever you want to call him and uh we'll probably do some 5v5 maybe some team deathmatch just depending and then um, I might even potentially check out the Battle Royale version or Royale Arena um, either in this video or the next video because they are kind of longer matches and this video is already kind of long enough. So we're going to go jump into a game regardless of what I pick. You'll see in a second and uh, we'll check him out. We'll see what he does. All right. So let's check out Tigris. And if things do look a little different, it's because this is filmed two days later. Uh, some complications came up the night I was filming. I filmed an hour after uh the season launched and actually got tigris and all that already unlocked and all that stuff basically on day one like an hour after it all launched 
but some stuff came up i wasn't able to actually film anymore i had to get some stuff done and then i worked all day yesterday so this is friday now uh so technically not day one but yes day one i got him to level 10 whatever uh but yeah we're gonna check him out i'm playing this game against bots just because i don't know how he plays um i haven't really i didn't really test him a lot on the test uh server that we got access to so I, I just didn't have time i just don't have time that's the only thing i went from having all the time in the world and working from home to now having a full-time job and not having any any time to really game or even play um like t3 and get it recorded and stuff like that so we're playing against bots if it's a big deal i'm sorry this is all i have time for uh the queue times i was sitting in queue for too long and i i gotta get filming so i can get some stuff done around the apartment and whatnot so but enough of life things let's check out tigris i want to see kind of how this works so he has to wait for the actual disc to come back to him in order to throw it again so he's slow rate of fire in theory but you never have to reload so that's really cool and then this is the shield okay that's pretty cool and it has a timer rather than health okay interesting interesting and then i'm guess it's i know it's his dash let me uh i want to dash into someone i want to see if it you know is damaging okay well oh i think i did kill him with the dash actually so that's pretty cool okay so he dashes he throws up a shield that's timed but infinite health he has slow rate of fire that deals a decent amount of damage i mean 23 was that 2380 per hit i mean you could technically three shot a decent amount of heroes in the game if my math is correct six three, yeah, it would be that almost almost seven thousand damage so some people could withstand it you know depending on how uh leveled up you have your hero but like mark is taking a big big chunk of damage here and then i can charge get a kill okay so he can kind of yaw dash in a way doesn't necessarily work exactly the same as yaw dashing but similar similar and for those that are uh, wondering if I'm going to have gameplay of um, actual players, the next game after this will have actual players. I'll queue against real players and uh, we'll check out his season pass skin uh, when that happens. So there will actually be like real life scenarios rather than playing against bots and holding them in spawn and whatnot. But let's see what his ult does. Oh, she popped her ult. So that was really good timing on her part. And it's a ricocheting effect i think i have 82 health oh my gosh okay i i didn't fully understand exactly what his ult did but i think i was making his shield bounce between all of them i'm learning i'm learning guys i'm playing him this is literally my first game on with him so first time i've ever really played him in a other than in the training grounds so we're learning here we're learning here boys i kind of really like his right hand peak I know that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but like, oh, no, you can't. I was going to say, can you get the shield when you throw it with that left hand? Can you get the shield to go by the wall on a right hand peak? Maybe I don't like his right hand peak. Well, regardless, cool MVP. You guys did great. We're playing against bots. So let's see how he did. Wait, no, doesn't surprise me. It's bots, but I just want to kind of get a feel for what his damage output is. All that stuff, how it feels to kill like to get those kills how many actual like you know with his fire rate fire rate his throw rate how many actual like shields does it take to get kills stuff like that so okay let's jump into a real game let's try him out against real players and uh i'll also show you his uh season pass skin so let's do it all right my dudes we are here we got giga cave let's see what we're gonna be doing here with my boy tigris tigris whatever you want to call him uh i'm gonna call him tigris so yeah 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 but uh we got defense which i'm actually pretty hyped about and real players so that's cool too <laughs> um i want to see how far his actual range is before his before they like blow up okay so i got about i got a decent range but he's definitely not going to be sitting here shielding from you know way in the back line i'm gonna have to play a little closer with him let me see if i can get some shields in there i'm getting some damage on I can shield when i need to it's almost like he's like his shield is almost like a better kelvin snowman if that makes sense because like i can just pop it whenever but i'm not like immobile you know what i'm saying i don't know if that makes sense like i can just pop it right here and kind of keep myself alive this ruby's gonna push me and probably get me here oh thanks team 
And you know, it doesn't necessarily heal me, but it's the same concept, rather. Maybe not necessarily better, but same concept in a nutshell. Oh, I just realized you can't auto attack to get out of the shield. You have to physically like close the shield with its button. That's interesting. Wonder why that was intentional. Oh, probably it's, probably because auto fire. Auto fire would immediately take you out of your shield when you're trying to shield. So they probably have it to where you have to physically put it away. Yeah, like I have to click the button right there in order to put it away. But the cool thing is you, there's no cooldown on it. It just refreshes the actual like duration of it on your screen. I'm going to die here. Yep. Okay, so your your little bar loads to fill its duration, but you don't have a cooldown on your shield pop. That's pretty cool. So it's sort of like a health bar, but it's more of a duration themed health bar. It makes sense. It makes sense. Don't worry. All right, we're going to get in here. I need to start learning his dash a little bit. The dash is pretty awesome. I need to be attacking right here. Not not uh, not smacking. Okay, well, we can push the ruby. She's dead. She's dead. She's dead. And I didn't see the cooldown on his dash. Six seconds. Okay, that's a pretty decent cooldown. Uh, I'm going to have to sit here on point. So not necessarily, uh, so more off tank. I feel like he's going to be more off tank style because he does have that stun. He does have the capabilities. I don't know if I popped ult or not there. I might have lost my ult just now. Uh, he has the capabilities of dashing, of, of making space, and you still do have that shield. So he is kind of like a shielded off tank, uh, but he's definitely a brawl tank. You know, you're up in there. You're up in the fight. You have the shield. You have the ricocheting thing with his ult. You have the dash. Everything plays close. That's going to be, yeah, that's going to be how I'm going to classify him. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this. I don't know exactly what it does. Oh, it just throws one mega shield and then that just goes and finds people. Uh, okay. Oh, my shields are just all better for a duration. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. That makes sense. Like I said, I haven't really played him much. So learning him as I go. Okay, he does deal some pretty decent damage. If you're like up close, he can actually deal like a ton of damage. Oh, and we have that capability, so that's pretty cool because it's not... There's no health bar, so his shield is legit just like a an, a very good counter to ults. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Giddy, hold still! I, I do like his fire rate on his shields, but I wish they were a little a little faster because like it is a projectile so you kind of have to lead your shot which is it can be annoying oh well, still no i'll get the health i can chase though so that's kind of cool oh that's not gonna nope that doesn't immune <laughs> it's not an immune shield <laughs> it's just uh yeah so that still kills me Good to know. So it's not an ultimate counter to every ultimate, but it is definitely a good counter to a lot of things. As far as just incoming damage, uh, it, it could counter Jabali pretty well, actually, too, I'd imagine. Maybe. Uh, at least a spinning Jabali. Uh, not a second ult Jabali. It counters Ruby pretty well. Like her ult, specifically her ult, it counters that pretty well. But stuff that's like splash damage, like Johnny ult, probably wouldn't counter his first ult. Now that he has two ults. Okay, well, if you're gonna hold shield, I'm gonna just attack. See, it could counter it could counter Skadi's ult or uh Sindri's ult pretty well. I still freaking get their names mixed up. That's so funny. Well, she's up there. Now oh, there she is. What's up, Ruby? Oh, she stunned me in my ult. That was actually really good of a stun. Oh, I need to back up. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. Don't worry. Don't no, no, no. leave me alone. Leave me alone. Can I dash out of this? Oh, she can yaw. He can yaw dash. He can like get height with it. Oh, that's actually super cool. I didn't know that. <laughs> I just kind of like hoped for the best that I could dodge away. I thought it was going to scoop me across the ground. I thought I didn't know you could actually get height with it. Let me try that. Oh, that's crazy. He can just super leap. Okay, that's cool. And it's actually on a pretty short cooldown. I mean, I know it's like, what, six seconds, but that's pretty decent. Like, I can almost, like, use it to get into an en engagement. Oh, that's cool! Okay, that changes how I play him a little. 
She gonna come out? Oh, nope. Yeah, that actually super changes how I play him. I think the dashing is actually a lot stronger than I'm thinking. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, that's not good. Get away from that. Oh, yeah, you need to be dashing a lot more with him. Okay, so uh, if you guys want to know, he's uh, a dasher. Definitely be dashing with him. Got it, got it. I'm learning things today, learning things today. But he is so much fun. GG's to everyone. We did great. We held it down. We held it down. How to play? Hey, you know what? I'll take five and three. Our, uh, our Jabali got 22 kills. So GG's to our Jabali. That is pretty cool. I do really like Tigris. He's pretty cool. All right, guys, that is Tigris on day one, level 10 all the way maxed out. He is actually kind of a lot of fun. Right there at the end, I learned that you can actually use his dash, similar to how Ya can, where she can dash upwards. He can do the same thing. And that completely changed my perspective on how to actually play the hero. His dash is, I think, a lot more important than I was initially thinking. It just adds so much movement to him, and you can you can do that multi-level dashing just like yaw so it changes him up a bit i do wish that his fire rate his throw rate of his shield was just a little faster um but that's just all you know with testing and time and seeing the you know the actual time to kill on all the enemies in the game and whatnot so but i do i do really like him i like how he plays he's definitely a mixture of like jabali and kind of kelvin a little bit of ono also kind of Victor, uh, where you have like all those kind of styles of heroes who's like just kind of thrown into one. Uh, so that's pretty cool. The projectiles are a little rough, uh, so you can miss a lot of your throws and you are like throwing them pretty slow. Not a crazy damage dealer, but as far as Vanguard is concerned, he creates space. He has a shield. And it's a very interesting mechanic to how the shield works. And I really, really enjoy this hero a lot. Definitely let me know if you guys are going to get Super Season 4, the Battle Pass, and all that stuff. Let me know what you guys think of Tigris and all the stuff that's coming, the events and all that different, you know, skins and whatnot. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. And I will try to be doing my absolute best to uploading more videos this season. Rather than last season where I only got a couple of videos, I'm trying full-time job. Our schedules between me and my fiance Kayla are just all over the place. And uh, life is hectic. Uh, the holidays just finished, so that's going to be a little bit of stress off me. But we are getting married uh, next month, so that's a lot more stress as well. So I'm trying. I promise. I also want to upload other video games here on the channel. So stay tuned for that. You might see a random Minecraft video or Marvel Snap deck profile or something along the lines of that because I do play a lot of other games. But I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below what you think of Super Season 4. And I'll see you guys later. And as always, peace out, guys.